hey guys welcome to planning with crystal so another advent calendar unboxing but this one is a tea one so if this is something that you'd prefer definitely keep watching i'll show you what's behind every day so it's the 24 days of tea picks i'll link all the info underneath so you can see on the top it says tea pigs tea advent calendar you can see they've really kind of thought of the design all the way around and on the back it just tells you a little bit about it and um, so what's great about this is it's recyclable um it's cardboard it's pretty easy to recycle for most people so it's good that they thought about that so when i just slide it out of the um, card sleeve you've got kind of christmas trees on that side um with different kind of colors going on and the way that this one lays out is you kind of fold it out like this and it's got days on this side and it's got days on this side or you can kind of stand it up like that and what I think is great about this because it is quite compact it doesn't weigh much um, it would be a great one if you were kind of traveling over the Christmas period and you wanted to take a bit of an advent calendar with you this one would travel well and obviously it's not the kind that you're going to reuse so you can kind of recycle it afterwards not feel too guilty about the fact that it's not reusable um, this was purchased by me and I'm going to give you my thoughts when I've opened it all. Here's day number one. So the way these are all going to open, it's you just peel back the days. Okay, so it opens like this and it says, Hello December, it's now totally acceptable to add cinnamon to every drink. We'll start you off with our festive fave apple and cinnamon it's a nice touch where they've kind of thought about that and i like how the tea bag is actually held in place by these little holders here so it's not like falling out and sliding into the next day like some calendars do um it's definitely a nice one to start the season day number two up here but also this is a particularly good one if you like tea it's good if you don't want to be eating chocolate every day um, and if you would look forward to having that different kind of tea every day, personally I would. If I was at work, I would take it with me on my journey to work or take it to have at work. And it's just that nice little extra treat just to make December a little bit more exciting. So I'm actually really liking the little, um, the effort they've gone to behind the doors where they've got a little bath and it says that chocolate for breakfast always. So I like those little quotes rather than just open it, there you go. This one is the chocolate flake tea, which I've had before, real chocolate flakes, but um, not loads of calories or anything. So just a really nice kind of treat. Um, and I like how they're all individually wrapped in these little pouches. So you could just take that with you if you're going to have it later in the day. Then day three is here. It's got quite a strong smell. I could just smell it through the, um, the packaging when I was opening it. So this one says, happy, drink me in one of those ridiculously oversized mugs while sat in a room slowly filling with puppies. That's the dream, right? <laughs> Love how tea pigs have a sense of humour. So this is the happy uplifting tea with lemon balm. Organic feel good teas. So you can feel good while you're drinking that one. I also did a coffee unboxing. So if you are more of a coffee person, I'll link that and you can check that out. It's day number four. It says, did you know New York is believed to be the birth of the tea bag. New York is believed to be the birthplace of the tea bag. I did not know that. That is an interesting little fact there. It says a tea merchant inadvertently invented it after wrapping his tea in silk bags to keep it safe in transit. This is lemon and ginger, which is just a nice kind of afternoon tea, I'd say, or an anytime tea because it's obviously caffeine free. And it just says lazy day is the little sun lounger there, which might kind of upset me actually on the 4th of December that it's not sunny and I can't sit in a sun lounger. But yeah, that should be nice. And it won a great taste award, it says on it as well. So you know you're going to get a decent quality tea anyway from tea picks. So here's day number five. This says, question, which nation do you think produces the most tea? And it says, Chile with India coming in second. I would not have guessed that. So today is a chai tea, which is definitely a really kind of winter warmery kind of tea. Um, again, another one of those great taste awards. So it's up here. So behind day number six, it says, there is no trouble so great or grave that cannot 
be much diminished by a nice cup of tea and that caused by Bernard Paul Hero. And I think he's right. So today we've got chamomile flowers. So something really kind of relaxing. It's something I'd have probably more in the evening. Um, and it says Dream On won a Great Taste Award. A lot of their teas won a Great Taste Award. And it's a kind of great introduction to tea picks if you've not really tried them before. And just a way to try a lot of nice different flavours. Sometimes you discover a flavour you didn't know you'd like um, this way. Day number seven up here. So day number seven, it says sweet ginger. Be a big in ginger flavour with loaded with sweetness and full of spice. I like this. I really like ginger flavour. If you don't like ginger flavour, you're really not going to like this tea. But if you do, you'll love it. It's a nice kind of swarming, definitely a sweet one. Not a kind of pow ginger, but sweet swarming ginger. And it says in your face feisty. Day number eight, just down here. It says, don't dunk and run. Big leaves need a little longer to work their magic. We suggest brewing for at least three minutes. So a bit of a tea tip in there. This is the Darjeeling Earl Grey. So I like Earl Grey and I'm prone to the odd Darjeeling. So I've never tried this one where they're mixed together. So that's interesting. Definitely kind of sophisticated, grown up kind of tea, I'd say. A bit of an acquired taste, but uh, I've not tried this as a combo, so that'll be interesting. And hey, it won a great taste award. I'm gonna get sick of me saying that. Day number nine, just down here. Behind day number nine, it says, did you know by the mid 18th century, tea had leapfrogged gin to claim the title of Britain's favorite drink? I did not know that. So today we've got the Earl Grey Strong and it's got a British Bulldog there. Being all strong, won a great taste award. And it says grey with attitude, like I said, I like Earl Grey. I think I like a strong Earl Grey. Kind of a shame to see another Earl Grey tea after we've just had the Earl Grey and our Darjeeling combo. But nonetheless, I think I'll enjoy that one. It's uh, definitely the fun of finding your day on this calendar as well, the way it's all folded and things. So we're on to day 10. This is one of my favourites. This is definitely one you're going to want to try um, if you like mint and chocolate or one or the other. <laughs> it's chocolate and mint. So... It's, um, it says, is there a more perfect combo? And no, I don't think there is. So you get the really nice mint tea taste, um, but you have those chocolate flakes in there. So it just, it's just like a really kind of good for you version of a mint arrow. Um, I think, I mean, the chocolate flake tea is nice. This one is a little bit nicer. I just think the mint and the chocolate just goes well together. And again, one you can drink anytime because it's caffeine free and it's just lovely. So those times when you might want to have like a mint tea after you've had a big meal, but you also get that satisfaction of that kind of chocolatey taste. So a lovely, lovely tea, definitely. Probably my favorite tea fix tea, actually. We're on to day number 11, just down here. Then for day number 11, it says, one of our most special teas, the green tea leaves, a hand rolled into a precious pearl then engulfed with in fresh jasmine flowers not a big jasmine tea lover but i haven't tried this one simply because i'm not a big jasmine tea lover but i will see how that tastes i do like green tea um and with the kind of pearls and the way that's all formed that sounds quite exciting and it's got a dragon on there and yet another great taste award day number 12 here so for day number 12, it's all about the calm. It says calm, and it's got a nice bunny rabbit there and a bunny rabbit on the tea bag. It says Christmas time can be intense. Take five minutes to yourself and enjoy a giant cup of calm. So it's the Tea Pig's Calm Relaxing Tea with Valerian. Definitely something you're gonna to want to drink just before bed, lovely. Uh, another great taste award. Day number 13 up here. So for day number 13, it says, when it comes to knocking back our favorite brew, which nation do you think takes the top spot for the most cups drunk per person? I think it's gonna be the UK. Turkey, see we're a, a big drinker of tea, um, but I didn't realize Turkey drank more than us. That's an interesting fact for the day. So today we've got licorice and peppermint with this cute little pink purple windmill thing on the front. Another great taste award and it's a sweet treat. So I like peppermint. Interesting to see how that will taste with licorice. So for day number 14, we've got a bit of a classic. It's their everyday brew, which is a gorgeous 
kind of like an English breakfast type tea. Lovely. So it says we donate to the Point Foundation with every pack of Everyday Brew. We sell and match all donations made on our website. So far we've raised over £250,000. So that's good. They don't just taste good, they do good. It says Morning Glory, another great taste award. And it's 100% Rainforest Alliance certified tea, which is great. And all of the tea temples are biodegradable as well. So they are being very, very responsible, I'd say, as a brand to look at that kind of thing. Very impressive. And then we're on to day number 15. For day number 15, it says you can't buy happiness, but you can buy tea. And that's kind of the same thing. Said so someone very, very wise. Yeah, that's a great quote. I like that. This is honey bush and rhybus. So rhybus is um, a red bush kind of tea, and it says red bush on there as well. And again, it's another naturally caffeine free tea. I'm not a big fan of rhybus. There's something about the taste that doesn't really do it for me. I'll drink it, I don't love it. But with honey bush in, interesting to see um, if I enjoy that a little bit more. That's what it's all about for me, trying a different tea every day and hopefully finding some kind of new favourites. It's not difficult to do with tea pigs because they have quite the selection. Day number 16 here. Oh, it says, fun fact, all tea comes from the same plant, Camilla sinensis, And this is the popcorn tea. It says, a fab Japanese treat. It's kind of um, like a green tea, popcorn tea. Well, it is a green tea. Um, it's got a nice kind of different taste to it. I like how they've got the little film reel there as well. So it's just a nice little change to your kind of morning tea. You have this kind of popcorn green tea instead. So yeah, that's a fun little day number 16. So day number 17, I'm running out of tea. I'm running out of days to open. That was the problem with advent calendars, it eventually come to an end. Now then, this is the Rybus Creme Caramel. Again, not a big fan of Rybus, but with caramel in, who knows? So this says, a comforting cuppa that can rival any Christmas dessert. Our classic Rybus, but with real caramel chunks. Mmm, sounds good. It's a skinny dessert as well, so if you're trying to be careful over the Christmas period and not consume too many calories, which is a challenge at Christmas, um, then maybe you could have this as a kind of nice little after-dinner treat. Again, naturally, um, car caffeine free and it's got this cool little cow there on the front so if you're a vegan and you want to buy this calendar just leave in the comments a little comment when you buy it or send them an email to let them know that you're a vegan and then we'll send you a different tea bag that is vegan so that you can have that instead so that's a great little kind of touch that they do so day number 18 up here it says did you know tea was discovered in 2737 BC or 2737 BC by Chinese Emperor Shen Nung when a leaf from the Camilla Senesis bush fell into his cauldron? What a lucky guy. I didn't know that either. So this is a tea called Trim, which I didn't actually know they did. So it's a tabulism tea with guana. Interesting. So if you're trying to stay in shape or you just want to kind of kick your metabolism up a gear. Interesting to see what that one does and what that one tastes like, because it's all about the taste. So day number 19 is here. Kind of a shame it doesn't go to like 25 because a metabolism tea would be pretty useful on Christmas day or maybe Boxing Day. Day number 19 and we've got a little love heart here and it says, where there is tea, there is hope. And the quote's by Arthur Wing Penero. Another nice quote. So this is peppermint leaves. I love how they have this little peppermint sweet on the front. I love peppermint, so I'm always pleased to have another really good quality pepperminty tea. It's something lovely to kind of settle your stomach and just sometimes you just, I crave that kind of thing. Minty fresh and it won a great taste award. And again, another caffeine free tea. There's a lot of caffeine free tea. So if you don't uh, drink much caffeine, then this is quite a good choice because you get a lot of caffeine free teas. So then we're on to number 28 down here. It says, the secret behind a really good herbal tea, whole berries, herbs and spices. It says, super fruit. 
So it's bursting with super berries. Tastes exactly like you would expect it to, like a gorgeous bowl of fresh berries, but hot and, you know, tea. But it tastes like fruit. So it's naturally caffeine free, so you just get the really nice taste of fruit. So a nice afternoon tea, I'd say. Day number 21. So today we've got the Mayo Feng green tea. So green tea is, again, like I said, a really nice one to kind of start your day with. I like green tea and it says green with envy. If you're not sure about green tea, a great way to kind of dip your toe into it. It says brewing guide to avoid scorching the leaves. Green tea is best brewed using 80 degree water. Grab the kettle just before it boils. And I think that's quite important because I've said that to people who've tried green tea and not liked it. Have you put boiling hot water on because it does alter the taste. So try it before it's fully boiled and hopefully you will prefer the taste because that's how you're supposed to do it anyway so it's just a bit different from how you would brew um a kind of breakfast tea so a lot of people do kind of make that mistake of putting the boiling hot water on so definitely try it with the kind of slightly cooler water and hopefully like i said it'll taste better for you so day number 22 up here it says taste your tea like a pro by slurping your tea from a spoon Ooh. It says you'll inhale more oxygen, making the flavours far more lively. Ooh, we're definitely gonna try that then. So this is Marrakesh mint, and we've got a little camel there on the front, and it's green tea with mint. So if you're not sure about the taste of green tea, perhaps you'll, you'll enjoy it with that little kind of minty taste to it as well. Day number 23, really get into the last couple now. This says, happy Christmas Eve Eve. And it says, if the festive excitement is keeping you up at night, our sleepy blend of chamomile and lavender will help you drift off in no time. And it's got a little sleeping cat on there as well. One I've had before, and it is a lovely, relaxing tea. So definitely don't drink this first thing in the morning or you'll get nothing done. Finally, day number 24. Now, interestingly enough, day number 24 is a much smaller window than all the other ones. So that's interesting. Let's have a see what's behind this door. So this says it has a code that you can use at checkout to get yourselves 20% off your next online order. So that's a nice little touch. And to finish the calendar off, we actually get two tea bags. So this is the spiced winter red tea, which is lovely. And it says tea with trimmings. It's naturally caffeine free and it's got this super cute little snowman on there as well and um, so that's a nice one i've had that before so i like that they've kind of finished it off with something a little bit different i like that they've included that 20 percent off coupon as well that kind of adds to the value so this calendar where is 29 pounds 99 it's got 24 windows but 25 cups of tea which makes each cup of tea £1.19, which is quite a lot if you're going to do it that way. But actually, I do like the calendar as much as it's quite a lot for 25 bags of tea. There's something a little bit special about treating yourself to something nice every day. Just that nice little drink, um, to, like I said, to start or end or middle of your day. I just think it's lovely. And I really, really like the fact that they've taken such care with the package to make it recyclable i love that they put these little quotes and things behind the doors that really adds something a little bit extra for me so i'm really happy with it it is like i said pricey for tea but tea pigs is a little bit more than the norm anyway because it's a little bit special it's not your everyday kind of tea so if you do want to treat yourself i'll put a link under the video so it will take to the calendar and you can go ahead and purchase that if you want to but let me know what you think. I think it's a lovely little thing to treat yourself to. And if you've enjoyed watching my unboxing, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. I'll link some more advent calendar unboxings at the end and definitely subscribe, like I said, because lots more advent calendars coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.